Hi, Jordan Shalisi here with Joan Killer Realty Group. Today we are going over the is the Woodlands, Texas the best place to live? And if you're not new to my channel, then you know that I talk about the Woodlands a lot. I do love it up here. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in. The Woodlands is the best place to live if it fits your needs. So let's talk about those needs and what the area has to offer. If you are looking for walking trails, walkability to commercial hubs, a community that offers work, live, play, pray, educate, and explore, the Woodlands will be the right neighborhood for you. I say yes, <laughs> but it also depends and falls on this money factor, affordability. Is the Woodlands affordable for what you need out of a house? I really think anyone can live in the Woodlands pretty much beside, like no matter what their budget is, but is a house or the apartment going to really cater to what you need in a home? And that isn't always the case. If you want a big house and you have a small budget, then um, obviously the Woodlands might not be the best place for you. Um, the schools are the best in the area. So if you are looking for the best schools, hands down, the Woodlands is gonna be your number one option. Uh, one thing to know in really affluent areas, one thing you might not, um, think about is it's going to be really competitive when it comes to sports, making the team and the school in general. If you want to be in the top 10%, you're going to need all K level classes, AP classes, and you're going to need to pretty much get all A's. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're trying to get into a public college here and you're trying to stay in your top 10% or top 5%, it's really tough in the woodlands um, if you aren't the smartest person in your class. So do keep in mind it is very competitive for school and sports. Um, so sometimes when an area is very affluent, sometimes there's arrogance. So I don't think the Woodlands is as bad as you think it would be. I know a lot of people are coming from out of state and I would say we, the way we treat people is really good compared to other areas. I'm wearing contacts, obviously, every day. I can't record in my glasses. Um, so something really cool about the Woodlands is that there are a lot of places to shop and there is really good shopping. I really feel like the mall serves everyone. There is a Nordstrom in the mall and then in Market Street is where you're gonna find your higher end shopping. Your Louis Vuitton, Tiffany's, Tory Burch. I think we're getting Chanel. I can't remember which one we're getting, but we're getting a brand new store. But there are normal places like Gap and Madewell and Lululemon is in there as well. So I, the fact that there's always something happening in the woodlands is something that's going to help uh, you fall in love with it. So there is a huge calendar of, an event, of events. So if you like to stay busy and entertain, the woodlands is gonna be the right place for you. I did talk about walkability earlier. I just cannot stress that enough. The walkability in the woodlands is parallel to none. So even if you don't live in the woodlands, I recommend living within 20 to 30 minutes from the woodlands because it's really gonna, it is really where you're gonna spend a lot of your time. Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, best concert amphitheater ever. Uh, the triathlons, the bases, the art festival, the children's festival, the free year round practically outdoor concert series that happen all over town and so much more. These are other reasons why the Woodlands is the best place to live um, in the United States. Second best for families, but I researched number one and I vote they got it wrong. So I'm probably paid to be on that list because I definitely do think the Woodlands is the best place in the US to raise a family and in general. So there are so many corporations in the Woodlands making it really easy for you to work up here. We also have really close proximity to the airport, which I think is amazing. And then last on the list, it is absolutely beautiful up here. You like the trees and the water and you're close to Lake Conroe, so more water, like actual fishing water. We have so many parks up here, the walking trails and the sidewalks and it's just, I love it, I do. Y'all hear me talking about all the time. So I really think it is the best place to live, but it might not be the best place for you. So if you are thinking about relocating to the Houston suburbs and you need help navigating all of these suburbs, I would love to be the realtor for you. I happen to be the number one relocation and number one buyer's agent last year, and I hope that will happen again this year. So please reach out to me. I love to answer questions. Please email me, schedule a call. All of my contact information is down below along with new relocation guides. We even have this new little flyer. Oh, I think it's so cute. So this is actually in the Woodlands Mall right now with this, yes, my brush is there, with this little um, 
next step and downloads for you. So all of this stuff is gonna be linked down below. We have relocation guides. Let's see if I grab it. No, showing. <clears throat> so this is actually the older one. I don't know where the newer one is, but I made this font so you can read it easier. But this is another little relocation guide. So this is moving to Texas, but I have relocation guides for all of the Houston suburbs. I think I made 13. So um, that's brand new. So I really concentrated on the blog this year and I need to catch up on my videos. So here we are. So I'm going to pump out a whole bunch. It's no longer five o'clock. It's six something. So I have like 20 minutes before all my kids wake up. So um, again, this is Jordan Schlaeser with Joe & Co Realty Group. It is are also Joe & Co. <laughs> this is really, my job really is to help you plant your roots in the right soil. I don't just say it, I really do mean it. So I hope you reach out to me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.